Okay, we have a we have the guitarist and singer from June here in Manchester, finally live at last. Uh, man, how was the show tonight? Obviously, let's start it. How the tour actually is, and any you know anything you know like to say for the beginning? Yeah, yeah. How you doing? Uh, cheers for having us. First of all, uh, yeah, tour's been tour's been wicked. Um, it's been obviously we didn't really know going in this week with all COVID goings on exactly how it's going to be but every single night has been pretty much packed out packed out for us packed out for Bosque it's been they're super nice guys it's been three years I think since we've toured the UK again yeah. COVID everything like that but the response has been amazing and we've just so, so Daniel this is the first tour with this with this new album yeah well well we did so we did a tour out in europe yeah uh end of october uh, but it's first uk tour we've done on this album yeah. so uh you're on uh, manchester tonight what's the next where, where you going next ah uh, so we've done manchester tonight and then we've got final gig in glasgow tomorrow oh glasgow uh, so back up almost hometown for us but not quite but yeah we're, so we're back up in <laughs> well, scotland tomorrow it's, it's like what five hours drive from glasgow to home what yeah, nice. Three, three and a half. It's not too oh, bad. Really? It's not okay. too bad tomorrow. We're used to we're used to the drives anyway. Three, <laughs> flight four hours is easy for us. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> so how's uh, how's difficult to now to tour? You know, with this with this COVID thing, Daniel. Um, I mean, it's been all right. There's new stuff we need to do. There's new stuff we need to be careful of. Obviously, with the face yeah, masks, yes. walking around, everything like that. But yeah, I mean, it's it's more. I think. It's a hard one for more, I'd say, for the fans than us, because yeah. they don't know. I mean, we had a few people, I think, come down to the London show um, on Wednesday when they just put in new regulations and they could no longer get into the show because they need passports, uh, the vaccination passports now, which is obviously, it's always a shame for us if people can't yes. get into our shows. Obviously, there's reasons for it at the moment and yes. we need to be safe rather than sorry. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's it's been... A weird couple of years, oh. but like, yeah, it's great to finally see stuff happen again. Yeah, it's, it's great to have stuff like this actually back on the road again, um, especially back in the UK. And yeah, yeah, hopefully it will. I mean, it sounds like there's more restrictions coming in again next year, but hopefully it's not going to be another six months you know, before we can get back out and do this again. So, all right, let's go to something more fun. Yeah. Um, so the. Um, the, actually, the the album Atamene Enka at, uh, is um, it's beautifully written. It's beautifully done. I like all those riffs. The whole thing, you know, put together. It's almost Thank like engineered. Um, who actually stays behind the, the music and lyrics in a band? Um, so it's a it's a bit of a mix. Um, so for Atamene, uh, Victor did a lot of the initial writing. Um, Victor and Dudley. Uh, so Victor's our other guitarist and vocalist, and uh, Dudley's our drummer. And um, they did a lot of the the writing, the initial writing for that. Um, Lyric-wise, that tends to start more with myself, um, and then that ends up a very sort of collaborative effort towards the end between myself and Victor as well, because we're both doing vocals. Obviously, there's a yes. lot of sort of back and forth with that um, and then also we have to always give a shout out to our producer Graham um, who did a fantastic job on the album but he also has a lot of input as well um, at the time we also had a guy uh, our mate Jack playing bass for us but he was also a guitarist he wrote a little, a few bits and pieces as well so shout out to Jack um, but yeah it, it's, it's a really fun nice collaborative effort a lot of the time um it's never really one person to make all the decisions and anything like that we'll have certain tracks that are one person's baby more than the others maybe and especially on the last album as i say victor did a lot of the writing on that um i'd taken a bit of a step back i had just a couple of personal reasons at the time but yeah it's um it's always sort of a mix of like jamming stuff out to begin with then writing a lot of composition and then we tend to go into the studio with stuff sort of like 70 percent written and then a lot of the final nuts and bolts and bits and pieces and that gets added in 
during the recording process and sort of like I should ask at the beginning, so can you introduce the band a little bit? In short, just quickly who, who's playing Who's what? who? Yeah, so we have myself um, on guitar and vocals, um, Victor also on guitar and vocals, um, Dudley plays drums, um, Evelyn's currently playing keys, and on this tour we have Alan playing bass. Um, we have another bassist at the moment as well called Alex, who tends to do the bigger tours and European stuff, just because Alan um, has a couple of kids, so he's not able to tour as much. Right. But he, Alan tends to do more of the writing side with us. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so it's cool. It's a, it's a really nice group of people. Awesome. Absolutely amazing. It just blew my mind tonight. And as I said, you know, you make me cry today because I realized <laughs> how important it is to, you know, have the live shows and, yeah, yeah. and how, how much energy, you know, you guys give us, you know, back from, uh, from the from the stage um, there's a there's the vinyl behind you can can you show us a little bit so who's actually behind the the, uh, so art, the artist? artwork which yeah. is beautiful and just to show yes it is yeah to show, show us a little bit yeah work, so it's a little it's very dark it's just very dark like on the inside yeah very beautiful on the outside uh, so the artwork's all done by Marold van Hasteren who is a Dutch artist who we've worked with on a few things this album in particular um, also a few he's done the, there's a couple of tour posters kicking about for this tour that he's also done uh, but yeah fantastic guy to work with and we sort of worked throughout uh, it was actually we had the artwork for this one uh, done and finalized before a lot of the music was even finished so which was a kind of cool way to do it so we'd we'd sent him a lot of the lyrics that we've been working on things like that and the artwork was all sort of conceptually done yeah for the album in particular which is a which is a lovely way to work and it's a lovely to sort of have that sat there as you're writing as well almost as a sort of reference point it's a very cool thing to have but yeah marold is fantastic we love him with it all right it's absolutely amazing i was really surprised you know how how heavy actually this, yeah, this yeah, well, whole album is double, double vinyls they always are you know what i mean but yeah yes. yeah yeah i mean that's the thing we always wanted to even with the earlier albums it was always a matter of getting them on vinyl because i'm yeah. a big vinyl nerd and vinyl collector myself but, i love the vinyls but yes. having it in this format with all the artwork everything like that is just like this is perfect for us because it's the full packaging, so. All right, Daniel, uh, last word before I let you go. <laughs> Our last words, uh, come to Glasgow tomorrow if you're in Glasgow. If not, we'll see you next year for sure. And stay safe and stay sound. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate it for the interview and hopefully I'll see you soon uh, in this crazy world. <laughs> Fantastic. Cheers, mate. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.